Welcome back. Sometimes in our chess journeys, it's fun to just play bots, especially lower rated bots, as kind of a break from playing regular people. And I discovered in the past few days that there are some new bots on chess.com. There are dog bots. I've never actually met a dog that could play chess or any other game other than fetch or wrestling, but I think most of these dogs are based on actual dogs that are owned by chess players. I know that the second one is based on Benji, which is the dog of Gotham Chess, and I might get to that one in just a second. I'm going to start with the lower rated one, which is Wish Boy. It doesn't actually say who that one belongs to or what it's based on, but I'm just going to choose Wish Boy, who is rated 950 from the United States, and I'm going to play this and... We'll see how well we do. Usually I do beat all bots rated this, but it's a dog, so who knows? Let's try the Scandinavian defense and the modern variation thereof. See what happens. Okay. I think in that case I can just take this pawn, but then I think they attack it this way. Yeah, that's what usually happens, but I can drop the knight back. Uh, okay, I was going to say if they attacked it here, I could go there, but instead they attacked it that way. So I think I can push my C pawn. If they take, I can get my other knight out, or I would take their queen first, but they didn't. So I'm going to take there and see what happens. They did take, so I'm going to offer a queen trade here, and if they take, I will take back. They, they didn't take back. Okay. Well, then I'm a little confused. I know I can offer a check here, but of course they could block with the bishop, so that's not a great idea. I don't think. I want to get my dark squared bishop out so I can castle, but I don't know if that's the actual best move at this point. But you know what? I I am going to play e6 to get out the dark squared bishop. We'll see what happens. Okay, this where's this knight headed? Is it headed there? I don't think so. That one's well defended. Let's check here with this bishop and then hopefully castle on the next turn, uh, depending on what they block with. Let's take that. They take with the queen. I'll take it. Okay, they did. And then I will castle. I think is what's best here. But I don't know. They're... Got a knight and a bishop aimed right there at my king. Stop that by pushing this pawn, I think. That's not great because it weakens the dark squares around my king. I need to have my my pieces on, my pawns on dark squares because of where this bishop is. So I'm not doing great, I know that. That bishop is safe, but let's get the other knight out and then we can get this bishop out and connect our rooks. Is that going? I'm not sure. I can challenge that undefended bishop, but then where would it go? No. Let's do it. It went back one. Okay, then I want to get this bishop out. But wait, then their knight's going to challenge my bishop, and then I don't know where I'll put it. You know what? My bishop will be protected by the knight at that point, so I think I'll be okay if that's what they play. They did not play that. Okay, they played rook over by the king, which allows me to protect this with the pawn and point at that knight. They pushed a pawn forward to attack my knight, which is kind of running out of places to go, but it is protected there. And their, their knight's not hanging. Their knight is protected. So let's get this out of here. We come in here. No, that doesn't work. This bot seems to be playing really well, but I, I'm not an expert, so I don't know. Now, I don't know where that rook is going. Was it trying to defend this? I can push a pawn, then they would take. I guess I could take there. I, it's worth a try. They, they did not take there. Okay. Then I will take their pawn. Okay. That was interesting. Can I, can I kick this knight out? Where's it going to go? Maybe shouldn't be pushing pawns in front of my king, but the engine always recommends it when I go through the analysis. Okay. Uh, looks like there might be something coming down this way. I'm not sure. Good. Where would it go after that? Or here? And yeah, again, where would it go once they moved that rook? Why don't I just go ahead and threaten the rook to begin with? No, because then they'll take my knight, and if I take back, they'll take my bishop too. Okay. I, I really have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. I, I was expecting the bot, to, the bot to be a little easier, but it is not being easy right now. So I guess I can add a, another protector to that. Then I can bring my king up to protect this. No, they're going in that way. Okay, uh, this is a fork. I think this forks the rook and the pawn. Where are they going to move? Oh, I just hung my, my knight. Wow. Okay, well, I might lose to a 950 bot at this point. Because I can't capture back, can I? No, I cannot. Wait, I was a piece ahead until I hung that, wasn't I? Because now we're even on material, so I must have been a piece ahead. I, I really have no idea what to do. I'm going to pull this rook over so that when I move the bishop out of the way, I'll be heading down there. Okay, they thought of that. Well, then what do I do? Oh, that, that bishop is undefended. Should I go for the bishop this way, perhaps? No, it, it 
it's going, oh, and that pawn isn't defended. Okay, can I defend that pawn? Oh, well, I mean, it's defended by my king, but they have two pieces pointed at it. Guess I could put a rook up here and defend it this way, maybe? Not sure what that does. What does that do? Okay, the knight's not defended. That's what that's aiming at is the knight. The bishop is defended, however. Okay, let's trade knights, I guess. No, they, okay, that's a free knight, or, a, okay, it's a free rook, but they now have three pieces pointed at this pawn, but, so, but I will too after I take the rook. Okay, I think that was a blunder on the bot's part, which gave me just a little bit of help. I, you almost always have to count on help from these bots, but, let's see, trade for the bishop here? It did want to trade for the bishop. Okay, I remain a rook ahead at this point. That helps a lot. Um, looks like they're trying to take apart my defenses here. I need to leave this rook here defending that, don't I? Okay. Let's put a rook down here and maybe try to chop off these pawns. Okay. That, uh, take the pawn. And then I can maybe put this here to add another defender on there so I can move the rook when I need to. They have attacked the knight, which I can defend by moving the rook over one. Ink. And now I still have multiple defenders on this pawn. Where's that going? Not sure, but I want to pick off this pawn. I guess they can defend it by getting behind it. I probably should have gotten behind it. Okay. Do you have an escape square here? I'm going to go ahead and pick off that pawn. They check me. I can come up. They didn't check me. Okay. Defending that pawn, I guess. Well, this is definitely proving tougher than I thought it would prove. Let's... I don't know where I want to put this rook, but I, I want to get it out of the way of my pawn. So, here. Okay. And then here. That's threatening my rook and this pawn. Uh, so, let's go down there, aiming at their g-pawn. They did not move to protect their g-pawn, so I will take it with check. What move are we on? Wow, we're on move 45 already. This, this, is, this is going somewhere. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, wait, is this mate? Took me a while to see that my knight was covering that square. Okay. Well, that took over 10 minutes on my end. I'm going to save the game. I forgot to do that last time I played bots. If you don't know, if you haven't played bots on chess.com, if you just play the bot and move on, the games disappear from your archive. You cannot go back and look at them later. But if you click save game or analyze it, I think it saves it. But I try to do both. I click save game first just in case. And then click game review. And we're going to see how poorly I played that I barely beat a 950 rated bot. I played pretty poorly. It says I had seven inaccuracies. Oh, that's hidden by my picture here. One, But only one mistake and one blunder. My blunder looks like it was about right there where I was way ahead. And then it went back to about even and then made a mistake to give the bot an advantage, but it gave it back. So my blunder and mistake were right there. Okay, well that's the part of the game that we wanna look at then. Right here, the analysis board running Stockfish at a depth of 22 says I was, I was ahead about minus three, minus 2.8, 2.9. And what I played here was knight to b4, which was a blunder. I thought that was a good move because it aimed at that pawn and the rook. I assumed the rook would move and then I would get the pawn. But it was not a good move because their rook was pointed exactly at that square. So I, should de I definitely should not have done that. I had several moves that maintained my advantage. One was rook f to e8, which aims at the undefended bishop. One was king to g7. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have been worried about them coming in here because my knight defends h7. Okay. That's what I wasn't seeing. Or rook a to e8. It says either one of my rooks to e8 pointed at that bishop would have been a good idea. And if the bishop moved someplace, I, I might have been able to just go right past that square and check. Uh, I wouldn't have been that powerful of a check because the king could have come out, but I would have been taking control of an open file. Okay, well, I get all of those. And I definitely get why my move was a blunder, so I, I think I noticed that as soon as the bot took back. I just was, I was looking at certain pieces of the board and not the whole board. Major weakness of mine, and I understand it's a weakness of a lot of players at my level, 1200 and below. We can see the pieces immediately around our pieces, or the piece that the opponent just moved. But in this case, that was my opponent's last move. So I should have been able to see that rook. That, uh, that rook had just moved there. It was clearly on the fourth rank. So moving anything to the fourth rank should have been a bad idea. But once it got over there, I was only seeing that it was on the H-file. 
And I was no longer seeing that it was on the whole fourth rank as well, but rooks have ranks and files. Okay. All right, well, a few moves later, we were at here, and it was almost dead even, and the move I played was knight to e4. Well, at that point, I thought they might take, and then I would take. And then I would not have to worry about that pesky knight sitting out there anymore, which was just sitting there in front of my pawns. But that wasn't it. G King to g7 was the only move that maintains equality. Bishop to a4. I'm surprised that bishop to a4 is recommended, because my knight's hanging. That's what prompted me to move my knight, is that it was just... It's not protected. So, okay, so king to g7 would protect the knight. Okay, I get that. And get it off the back rank. That makes sense. But oh, bishop to a4, it, it is threatening that rook, but it says at that point they would take my knight, and then I would take their bishop, but I wouldn't take their rook down there. That's weird. I played bishop. That's a4, right? And they, they would not play b3 to immediately threaten my bishop and make me move it again. They would just let it sit there and take my knight. Okay, then this, that mistake I do not understand. I, I don't understand what the problem here is. Okay, it says that's a mistake, but the game review had it at plus 1.4. It's actually plus 0 0.5, but either way, they can just take this pawn. That's why that's a mistake, because my F pawn is pinned. Okay, well, the bot not seeing that is actually pretty realistic, because I think a lot of players at my level probably wouldn't see that either. I certainly didn't see that, that this F pawn is pinned by that light squared bishop, that they could just take this pawn with check. I would have to get out of check, and I, I can't go there. Um, because of the knight. I assume I wouldn't want to go here because then they no, they wouldn't take that. Yeah, they might take that pawn, even though it's protected by my rook, because yeah, it says I would I would want to go to f8 at that point. Yeah, but they didn't the bot didn't play that, which is realistic, but instead it went there, which is probably not a blunder that an that a human opponent would have made because the rook is hanging and the knight's hanging for that matter. I don't know if a human opponent would have made that blunder or not. They might have moved to protect this rook some other way. Not sure exactly how. They might have played here. I think an, a, a human opponent might have played here, noticing that, that the rook is in danger. The knight is hanging, uh, but here there's kind of a threat at the bottom, maybe? No, I don't know. A human opponent probably would have seen that the bishop is protecting the rook. I don't know. I don't know what a human opponent would have played here, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have played that move, just as the bot didn't. And of course, that hung the rook, and then I just had to finish off after that. But that was after 30 moves. I should have done better. And the game review is probably correct when it says I, well, it says I played like a 1300. I don't think that's correct. If I was playing like a 1300 very often, I, I wouldn't have an 1100, 1100 and something rapid rate. But only one mistake and one blunder. Whereas the bot had three mistakes and two blunders. Okay, well, thank you, Wish Boy. That was fun. You know what? I have enough time to play Benji, but I probably shouldn't. But, but that's what I'm going to do because Benji's the one that uh, attracted my attention Benji is the Bernadoodle. Benji the Bernadoodle is an international master of fetch. Well, okay. Okay, well, let's play e4 and see what Benji does. That's the Nimza Witch defense, is it not? I have no idea what to play. I, I'm going to pr press my d pawn forward and see what the bot does. The bot has done that. Well, this pawn is protected by the queen, so I should probably push this one to attack the knight and force it to go somewhere. It went back. All right. And I will get this knight out and then maybe go over there and castle, depending on... See that? I never know. Should I unpassant that? That opens up my king a little bit. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to put this bishop here, pinning this knight to the, to the king. And where's that bishop going? Not sure. I'm going to castle and then start getting some of my other pieces out. Um, let's throw that in there. And... Knight out this way, and maybe push that pawn here. Is that? Then where? Nah, I don't think that knight has a very clear path through there. Let's throw this pawn forward, see if they want to get rid of a center pawn. They they did not want to get rid of a center pawn. Oh, they're, they're pointing at my rook. Is this the bot's way of telling me I should play rook to e1? Maybe it is. Because I noticed in a lot of the analyses that I've done after these games, the computer wanted me to play rook to e1. And I didn't. Oh, I know why it did that. It did that because now I can't take this pawn back with my... Well, okay. Well, they've tripled their pawns. Let's see if they want to trade bishops, uh, the bishop for the knight at this point. They, they did not. Okay. Let's do this. Is that going again? If I could get rid of that pawn, then I could take this bishop, couldn't I? That would be fun. Will that work? Do you think that'll work? It, it did not work. Okay. Kind of thought it would. But I could get this pawn, can't I? 
Guess, and then come back. Let's come back. And then, then I'll do this. That's what I should have done last turn. I just realized. Okay. I assume the bot will take back, and then I will take here. I think that's okay. Um, the king has moved over. Just for a second, I realized they could take here, and then if I took back, my queen is hanging. But if the bot did that, I could just take with the knight. So I wouldn't have to worry about it. But just in case, should I get this bishop pointed somewhere, like right there? Okay. That pawn's not defended, and it is kind of a weakness in the, in the bot's position. But I am not sure how to advance, how to play at this point. So I could tell that knight where to go. It can, it can go back. It did. Okay. And from there, I guess it could come out here and work its way around. Oh, no. From there, it can aim at this pawn. Okay. Well, I've got that pawn defended. What do I need to do? Can I get this knight around here somehow? Wow, that's a long road to walk, isn't it? Should I do it? Or, you know, what I should probably do is, is this, in case I need to move my queen out of the way or defend it from their queen. Their king has moved back. Okay, well, I'm going to try this uh, trick that I just thought of with my knight, because I don't know what else to do. I assume they're... Oh, I thought they were going to put a rook over here, but no, they're defending that square against the knight's infiltration. Well, that was pretty smart. Let's see, that pawn's protected. Can we make the rook move? It, we can. Okay. If I go there, they can defend that pawn, but I don't know. Let's see. They, they did defend the pawn. Well, good for them. Can the queen go anywhere else from there? It's aiming over here. That seems pretty safe right now. I want to drop my queen right here and then aim for that. Nope. Okay. Let's attack the rook. And attack the rook. Are we going to get a draw? I'll, I'll draw with Benji. Benji seems like an, a good dog. Was the, bot, the bot's honestly going to repeat with me? We got a draw by repetition against Benji. I'm happy with that. There was probably multiple mistakes in this game, but I'm going to click save game and run the game review. Uh, that game was far shorter than the, than the previous one. Well, I had about the same evaluation that I had in the first one, didn't I? We were both in the 70s. It did say, oh, I was ahead the whole time in this one, according to the game review, except obviously for the last move. I wasn't ahead when I, I had two misses. Are they going to be late? No. Wait, where are my misses? Come on, chess.com. Remember just, just a game or two ago, I mean, just a video or two ago, I had four misses and they were in a row. But when I looked at this list, there were three of them marked as misses on this list. But one of them wasn't, the th second or third one. But here, none of them are marked as misses. So I have, there's not even a symbol that says miss. So I have no idea which one it was. But apparently I did not have any mistakes or blunders, just two misses. I, but I, I want to guess that one of those last moves was a miss because here it says I was up plus three right at the end. Okay, here on the analysis tab, there are a couple of moves marked as misses, but they are move 10 and 11, not at the end. Okay. Well, apparently the bot's ninth move, which was putting the bishop in there, was a mistake, and I should have played queen to a4. Okay. I guess queen to a4 aims at their c pawn there, the front c pawn, and it says that they would put their bishop back here, which I guess is obviously aiming to get around there to block a coming check, but, but wait, why couldn't they just do that? If I played queen to a4, which it says is my best move by far, I don't understand why they wouldn't just defend the pawn that way. Also, it says I could have played e6 here, and then they would have captured here. Interesting. My third best move is rook to e1. That's what I played, and it was counted as a miss. But when I saw the bishop coming here, pointed at my rook. Wait, wait. Okay, I, I think I get it. If I played here, and they blocked with the queen. No, that doesn't make any sense. Well, it, it would keep them from taking my rook for a minute. But yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I played rook to e1 because all the in, of all the analyses that says that's what I should have played and I didn't. And it looked like the bishop was trying to prompt me there. So that's what I did. That was a miss. The bot played its second best move here, which the computer counted as a miss in the game review. And then my next move was a miss as well. It says I definitely should have played e6. And that the computer would have played, or the bot, Benji bot, would have played f6 in response to that. I, I don't know if it would have or not. I mean, I guess it, I was threatening a check and that's one way to prevent it. But then that opens up this diagonal, which is still blockable with the g-pawn. So I, I don't know. But I definitely should have played e6. But knight to e4 was my second best move. That's what I played. And the bishop should have taken it. 
and I would have taken back. Well, that was the whole idea, to get rid of this bishop that's sitting in here being all irritating. But that was a miss because the, okay, because the bot should have taken, oh, and the bot's second best move, whoop, no, no, the bot def should not have taken. You see, that stockfish changed its mind. First it said bishop capturing the knight was best, but now it says e6 is best. And very close is g6. Okay, I get e6 since the computer knows that I should have played e6. E they were playing e6 would keep me from playing it, so that makes sense. But I didn't know I was supposed to play e6. So I, I honestly thought it would take here, so when it didn't, that was, that was weird. But yeah, it says I didn't have any more, any more bad moves in the game. I did have one or two inaccuracies, but it didn't make any difference. So way here at the end, I'm up, not plus three, but plus 1.4, 1 1.6, 1 1.5. My best move is knight to c4. Well, that's what I played. And the bot's best move was moving over there. Well, that would have kept me from going back, wouldn't it? But it didn't. It played its third best move. And my best move is knight to a5, which I played. And the bot's best move is here. Well, see, I get that from the bot's perspective because it's, it was behind and it it's a computer, so it would have known it's behind. But how is that? How is this my best move? Because it's a draw. If I'm a, I'm not at plus one point five, if my best move leads to a draw. Okay, now it's changed its mind. Rook to d three is my best move. I guess what rotating over here, getting behind the knight. Oh, getting in front of the queen. Okay, so I understand rook to d three, but I just saw I was tired and I saw that the bot was repeating, so I went for the repetition. But yeah, I don't think knight to a five it should be listed as one point five here because it led immediately to a draw. Rook to b6 is by far the bot's best move, and that was the end of the game. All right, well, I drew with Benji, which is fine. If I beat Benji, Benji might feel bad, and you don't want a dog to feel bad if, if you don't need to. So I'm glad we got out of that without me making a dog feel bad. Sorry about the first one. Thank you for spending your time here. I will see you next time.